Hey guys, welcome back to Android Tech Bar. This video is gonna show you the solutions for Ethernet connected but no internet on Mac. First solution is renew your IP address. First click the Apple icon at the top left corner of the screen. Select system preferences under Apple menu. Here click network. Select your Ethernet service from the left side panel. Then click advanced. Here select TCP or IP tab. Then click renew DHCP list and select apply in the pop-up box to confirm. After that click OK. Wait until the process is finished and then check whether you are able to connect to internet. Second solution is restart your Mac and Ethernet device. First shut down your Mac. Then turn off your Ethernet device. To do that, disconnect the modem or router from its power source or use on or off switch. Wait for 2 minutes and then reconnect the Ethernet device to its power source. Then turn on your Mac and connect it to Ethernet. Now the internet connection should work normally on your Mac. Third solution is remove and re-add the Ethernet. First go to Apple menu. Select system preferences under Apple menu. Here click network. Then select your Ethernet service from the left side panel. Click minus icon at the bottom left corner of the screen and select S in the pop-up box to confirm. Then click the plus icon. After that click the interface menu and select your Ethernet service name. Then click create to confirm. Now select your Ethernet from the left side panel. Then click advanced. Select TCP or IP tab. Then click renew DHCP list and select apply in the pop-up box to confirm. After that click OK. Wait until the process is finished and connect your Mac to Ethernet. Now Ethernet connection should work properly on your Mac. Fourth solution is remove the network list files. Open Finder. Select go from the menu bar. Then select go to folder under go menu. Enter the following text and then click go. Then move the following network list files to trash. Now shut down your Mac via Apple menu. After your Mac shuts down, wait for 2 minutes. Then press the power button or touch ID to turn on your Mac. Now connect your Mac to Ethernet and check whether it is working or not. Fifth solution is add public DNS server. First go to Apple menu. Select system preferences under Apple menu. Here click network. Select your Ethernet service from the left side panel. 
then click advanced here select dns tab click the minus icon at the bottom left corner of the screen and remove all present dns servers Then click the plus icon and enter the following public DNS server. After that click OK. Now Ethernet connection should work properly on your Mac. Sixth solution is change the USB Ethernet adapter. Change the USB Ethernet adapter. Sometimes the problem may occur because of unsuitable USB Ethernet adapter. Seventh solution is create a new network location. First go to Apple menu. Select system preferences under Apple menu. Here click network. Then select your Ethernet service from the left side panel. Then click the location menu and select edit locations. Then click plus icon. Type the name for your new network location and then click done. After that select your Ethernet service from the left side panel. Then renew your IP address as I said in the first solution. Eighth solution is reset PRAM or NVRAM. First shut down your Mac via Apple menu. Then press the power button or touch ID to turn on your Mac. After pressing the power button or touch ID, immediately hold down the option plus command plus P plus R key simultaneously until you hear the startup sound for the second time. If your Mac has T2 security chip, hold down the keys until the Apple logo appears and disappears for the second time. Wait until your Mac restarts. Sometimes your Mac will take 15 to 20 minutes to restart. After trying these solutions, let me know which one is worked for you. If you know any other solutions to fix this issue, let me know through your comments.